Do you know what is in the center of a black hole? A singularity, an infinitely dense point, a curved infinity, and a hot infinity, where everything that enters a black hole ends up. A singularity is an infinity. But in the real world, and in the world, there is nothing with the property of infinity, and there is only infinity in theories, in physics and mathematics. Only in theories. So what is going on here? If we say that there is a singularity in the black hole, and that singularity is infinite, we also say that infinity does not exist in the real world. So is this the sense? Are we spinning around ourselves? In 1970, a very strange theory was made about this. In this theory, it was said that when we enter a black hole, we go towards the singularity, that is, downwards. If we want to move to the right or left, or even move up, we are still moving down. That is, every side ends downward, or the meaning of the side changes. And after crossing the event horizon, only one side remains. Down. Towards the singularity, and the property of space and time is completely lost. Directions, poles, everything disappears and turns into a one-dimensional path towards infinity. We still don't know what the singularity is. It's either nothing or everything. It's not at all clear what's going on inside a black hole. But as said, infinity only exists in theories and doesn't exist in the real world. If something reaches infinity, it will encompass the entire universe and beyond that, there will be no reality. And in general, it goes out of our meaning and logic. For this reason, not all scientists agree with the singularity theory and believe that there is a better definition that has yet to be found. But there is a theory about this. Roy Kerr realized that a singularity can only exist if the black hole is stationary, motionless, directionless, non-polar, motionless, and uncharged. Apparently there is no such black hole in the real world and it exists only in theories because all discovered black holes rotate and have poles and charges. Therefore, the theory defined rotating black holes, black holes that are a little more complicated and require additional spaces. The most important one is limited ergosphere, a very strange place, a place that cannot remain still and still, and even if we try our best to keep ourselves still, we are still moving. Here is the reason. In this range, time itself moves faster than light, and when an object enters this range, its energy increases. That is, if we enter it with an energy of 5, we will leave it with an energy of 10, and instead of we lose energy, we gain energy. This is called infinite energy engineering, and it might be real. You can get more energy and force from it, and you can produce energy as long as the black hole is there. Probably very advanced cosmic civilizations use this phenomenon as a source of energy. Of course, nothing is in the same rotation around this region, and instead, a strange shape is created. This is because the rotation of the black hole causes the rotation of the space-time around it, which creates very complex shapes. In fact, black hole Space-time both rotates and pulls towards itself and creates a very strange and complex shape. Anything that enters this range will have a different path. And this process causes their atoms to collide and produce a lot of light. What we see in reality around black holes. Currently, all observed black holes rotate and apparently follow this law. Now the singularity becomes another thing. Now we have a ring singularity that has different behaviors, and finally, the question arises whether the black hole has a singularity or not. According to new studies and research, black holes apparently do not have a singularity. Many may say that this is wrong, but we have very strong evidence that it is real. But what is the difference between this and this? It's simple. This does not rotate, but this rotates. Such black holes change space and time. In fact, it shapes the space into a tube, rotates it, crushes it, and releases it again. It is the same until the end. 
in the middle of these singularities, there is a kind of disk that causes the disk around the black hole to form. This makes sense. If we look at the black hole from every side, we see different angles of a singularity. And this black hole does not end everything at the singularity point. It is even possible to pass through these types of black holes and reach the other side, which is the same as wormholes. Of course, we still don't know where and what is the other side of a black hole, but there is a place. Of course, a physical body like a human cannot use this property, because its energy increases a lot and turns us into a very long atomic string. But atomic particles can. Of course, light has been used in this research. The first model says that everything ends at the center and singularity, and that's it. But the new model says in the rotational singularity, all the light does not end up in the singularity, because in this theory, we have more than one path to the singularity. Therefore, we no longer have only the bottom side, and in this region, the light can go around, and in this region, he will remain in the singularity for a while, and maybe until the end. Of course, the light that enters this area ends up at the center of the singularity, but the light that enters these areas does not reach the center and goes around there. Therefore, inside a black hole, we do not have only one fate. It depends on the angle of our entry into the black hole. But it can be said that there are infinite possibilities of fate. We conclude that a singularity is not necessary at all, and a black hole can exist without a singularity. Therefore, the singularity can be completely removed. Interestingly, this information is based on real observations, not like the previous model, which was based on physical equations. So when we enter the black hole, we can move in any direction, of course, as long as we are between the inner circle and the event horizon. But here, we can no longer get out of the black hole and get stuck inside it forever, and that's it. But we can move there in any direction we want. Therefore, singularity is not necessary, and crossing the event horizon does not mean the end. Of course, there are many strange things about black holes. For example, space-time displacement. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and share your valuable comments with us. Best wishes. See you later.